Meet Cutefish OS, the most beautiful Linux distribution. This is a quick overview video where I will show the look and feel of Cutefish OS. This is the system setting, where you can find settings related to Bluetooth or the internet. In the display settings, you will get these many options. You can change the resolution of your display, change the orientation, and more. In the Appearance section, you'll find a range of customization options. You can easily switch between dark and light themes, adjust window minimizing animations to match the look and feel of either Windows or Mac, and even fine-tune your system's appearance by choosing your preferred accent color, system font, and adjusting their sizing to your liking. Here, you'll discover a wide selection of wallpapers to choose from. Applying them is a breeze. Simply click on your preferred option. Additionally, you have the flexibility to set a solid background color as your wallpaper. While I like this particular wallpaper, I believe it would look even better in dark mode. That's amazing! Now let's explore other options. In the dock settings, you can center and compact the dock or make it full width. You can also adjust the position of the dock panel to align it left, right, or center. And you can change the size of the dock, making it larger or smaller to suit your needs. At the bottom of the dock settings, you'll find three options related to hiding and showing the dock panel, depending on your preferences. You can choose to have the dock always visible or to have it automatically hide when you're not using it. You can also choose to have the dock slide in from the edge of the screen when you hover your mouse over it. There are some basic settings, user, notification, and sound. Here, you can control the cursor speed and change its styles. Touchpad section is similar to mouse settings. Here, you can adjust the date and time and select the default apps. It provides these many languages that you can apply in your system. There is not much in the settings, but you have all the basic options, like performance and power saving modes. In the About section, it shows YoYo OS instead of Cutefish. I don't know why. This is the Cutefish control panel, where you can adjust the brightness and volume levels and access some tiles like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. These are the power options. Looks pretty awesome. And here is the notification panel, where you can access all your notifications. The file explorer looks as simple as what we see in the GNOME. Cutefish also provides a global menu, like Feature. The global menu provides some basic access right in the taskbar, something like Mac OS. This is the terminal that we get. It has a glassy look, which makes it look beautiful. Cutefish provides a blur effect in many parts of the system to enhance the look and feel. This is the launch pad where you can access all of your applications. There are many unfamiliar software programs to me. I am going to explore some of them. This is U-Tools. I think it's a kind of search tool where you can search for software or files on your system. Now, I don't know how to close it. This is a basic calculator app, which doesn't provide many options for complex calculations. Cutefish comes with many useful software applications, such as the VLC Media Player and the Kate Text Editor. Like other Linux distributions, it also includes Firefox as the default web browser. In the Software and Updates app, you can update your software and drivers. To install additional software on your system, you can visit the Spark Store. Ah, yeah, I don't know because Cutefish OS is a Chinese Linux distribution, it shows Chinese text in some parts of the system. If you can't find the software you want in the Spark Store, you can install it through the terminal using the sudo apt install command, 
just like you would in Ubuntu or other Linux distributions. That's all for now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you install this on your system? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice time.